Hello, good people. We are about to go ahead and harvest my very first Socrates cucumber. I've never tasted the cucumber ever, let alone grow it. So this is a first for everything. We're about to see if this is the tastiest cucumber as they claim it is, and let's hope so. So we are here in the uh, grow tent here. And this is the Socrates Cucumber. This puppy had me scared because I had pruned it and it looked like it was dying. But right now, she is full on growing. If you take a look, all those little yellow flowers you see there, every single last one of those are cucumber. Can you believe it? This plant is highly, highly propagating and making sure that it is sending some fruit. But you see that? That is the very first cucumber from this plant. I'm about to harvest that. Where are my shears? Let's take a look. So they claim this is the tastiest cucumber. It's very healthy looking. Everything in the pot seems very healthy looking. I'm about to cut this up and we are about to give it a taste. And this is my first time guys. So bear with me because if it tastes horrible, I might gag. But if not, I'm growing tons more. So I have cut up a couple of pieces. I'm not even certain if I was supposed to let this grow as big as it did. I think they're supposed to be smaller, somewhere around seven inches or so, maybe even five, but um, who cares as I was able to get it going. So um, let's go ahead and do our first tasting. Here we go. Okay, not gonna lie, it tastes good. I'm not quite sure if it's the best tasting cucumber I've ever had, but it tastes fresh, it tastes good. It is very, very moist. Well, when I say moist, it means it has a lot of water in it. As you can see, this one has a little bit of seeds. And remember, this is the Socrates cucumber which is a what they call gynecious variety and in this case this does not need hand pollination or even bee pollination you can grow this indoors without the meaning of having to get yourself a little uh paintbrush and having to you know go from the male to female flower i just put this in some nutrient water i got me a cucumber this is actually pretty darn good we are going to go see let's see if um any others are getting close so we're back over here at the tent. I'm trying to see if I see any others getting pretty close because that was the only one that was ripe. And as of right now, I don't see any more that's actually ready. Although there is flowers and cucumbers every, I mean, look at this. There's cucumbers even at the top here. There's not even a light up there. And um, there's cucumbers everywhere. All those yellow flowers designate a cucumber. And then we got even little baby ones that are actually growing in down there. And um, just a side note, I was having trouble growing my tomato plant. Look at how big this thing is right now. And let me take you over here. Look at all of these tomatoes under here. There's tomatoes everywhere. There's tomatoes everywhere, just everywhere. They're all in the middle of the plant. They're all around the plant. See, look at that just tomatoes everywhere oh my gosh this is amazing guys this is hydroponics so i'm telling you i did not see these yields when i was doing it in dirt and i'm here to tell you this is absolutely amazing i mean look at the greenery this is the um space master this is on its way out as you can see the leaves are all brown and everything but yet even this look at this down here it's still trying to produce cucumbers I'm like tripping. This thing is like, oh my gosh, hydroponics is freaking awesome. But right now we're going to go ahead and let these guys have their privacy and keep it moving. Thank you guys for joining me and helping me get through this here. Some of you gave me some good tips and um, I hope to see you guys pretty soon again with some more cucumbers, tomatoes and melons and you know what. Take care. <gasps> Oh! <gasps>